YouTube, Zodiac Gang, Cash the Gemini here. Y'all know what time it is. Sit back and enjoy story time. I'm feeling lucky. You know like Luciana. Money, power, and respect. I'm a down soprano. Lucky, lucky. I'm feeling lucky, nigga. Lucky, lucky. lucky. I'm feeling lucky, nigga. Before I get started with the story, I would like to say I appreciate all 200 of y'all subscribing to the channel. We just hit 200 subscribers. On our way to 500, then a thousand. Let's get it, Zodiac Gang. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe and all that. Be a part of the Zodiac Gang. Click lit like a tick. You dig? Now, today's story time is gonna be report card. What did you do when you got that one report card or even progress report that it just wasn't all that good? It wasn't. It wasn't the A's and the B's and possibly a C depending on the type of household you had. Now, I had the type of household, if you got a C, hey, that PlayStation was going to be put up. You feel me? My, my aunt did not play when it came to grades. So, if you had a C plus, a C minus, hell, if you had a B minus, that play, hey, hey, you, oh, you like that PlayStation? Yeah, give me that controller. Ain't no more Spyro, no more Crash Bandicoot, no more Sign Fine Filter, none of that. Put that game up, man. You ain't playing no NBA Live. You be playing NBA Report Card. You know what I'm saying? That's how my aunt was. So this was about second grade, I believe. So I was about eight years old uh, when this happened. Now, a little background so y'all could know how I got the person to do. My great-grandma and my great-grandfather, they owned the nursing home. The first black-owned nursing home, I may add, in the state that I do reside. Um, so they owned, owned the nursing home. It was a patient by the name of James Edwards as well as Jeffrey Coleman. I believe his last name was Coleman, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that part. So, I got a progress report. The progress report was looking all good in, except for one subject. Now, that one subject was cool. Now, progress reports, you didn't have to do nothing but uh, have you brought it home, just had your parents sign it, and you brought it back to school. This was before they mailed them in the mail. At this point, they handed it to you, and you took it and brought it back. So it wasn't so bad. So I, I looked at the report, because I'm like, oh, man, my aunt ain't going to like this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, let me see if I can get James or Jeffrey to do it. James was like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Now, they had been taking care of James. Uh, they had been taking care of James for about shoot, maybe 10 years at this point. But James knew. He knew my, my great grandma and my great aunt, especially my great aunt, didn't play when it came to school. So, like, he was like, nah, I ain't messing with that. But Jeff was like, uh, you give me some food or some candy or something, I'll do it for you. So, Jeff went ahead and signed it. I said Jeff was my uncle, brought it back, uh, brought it back. And everything was cool. Now, fast forward. And, uh... It came time for the report card time. Now, this is parent-teacher conference report card. Not the second report card of the year, but parent-teacher conference. This is when they come up to the school. So, my aunt and grandma goes up to the school, talking to the teacher, everything is fine. The grades is looking nice. So, nothing to worry about as far as grade related. But, uh, you know, the teacher rings. She's like, yeah, so I, I believe Michael's uncle... Um, Michael's uncle signed the last report card, and, uh, you know, he got those grades up. So, whatever you guys are doing, we appreciate that. And I'm like, I'm trying to get that look like, oh, she must be confusing me with another teacher. I have no clue what she's talking about. No clue. And I believe her name was Miss Trumbull or Miss Olsen. It was one of the two. Either Miss Trumbull or Miss Olsen. So, I'm sitting here like, hey, I don't know what this lady is talking about. All right? Uncle, what uncle? All right? Now, I do have an uncle, but my uncle lived in a different state. And so I was sitting here like, hey, I don't know what she's talking about. Of course, my aunt ends up finding out, and I end up getting in super big trouble and everything like that. Uh, I don't really even know if I got a punishment because my aunt never even let you play. Like, I was never able to play video games during, like, the school year. My video game time was like, oh, uh, let me see, Labor Day weekend, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter break, possibly on the weekend. If there was no homework and all your shit was together, you feel me? My aunt didn't play when it came to school. When it came to school, she was like, yo, you on your stuff, you feel me? So, like, that was the number one priority at all times. It didn't matter about friends. It didn't matter about none of that stuff. However, she was very tough on me. 
But it did teach me valuable life lessons about what to prioritize over, over family, friends, things like that. You know, what is important in your life to go follow those dreams and make sure you do, you know, achieve them and obtain them. So, I, you know, looking back on it, I'm glad that she was like that. But during it, it was like, come on, man, I can't play NBA live. You feel me? But it is what it is. So, I will say this, though. It, like, it's a, it's a bunch of differences from, like, back then and now. Like I said, then... You could really get away with a lot more stuff because I never went through where they mailed the report cards or progress reports home. Like we never went, th I never went through that when I was in school. I know they do that do that now in certain school districts, certain cities and states. But I think even to this day, even my city and state don't do that. Like they don't they don't mail them out. Like we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? But I want y'all to leave in the comment section if you guys ever had a report card, a progress report that was bad. You guys did try to fake it, dock it, or you know anything like that. What happened? Did your parents find out? Did they not find out? Did you end up getting those grades up? You know, let me know in the comment section. Remember to like the video, comment, share, subscribe. Hashtag Zodiac Gang. That's Z O D I C G A N G Gang. You dig what I'm saying? Zodiac Gang. We lit like a tit. It's your boy Cash the Gemini. Back. I'm feeling lucky.